Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sportstastic. Here are 5 reasons why Ryan Leaf is the worst draft bust ever. Number 10. Ryan Leaf. More opportunities. Leaf only lasted 3 years in San Diego. While most of his time there just showed how ill-prepared he was for the league, he did miss his sophomore campaign due to injury. After his release, Leaf signed with 3 more teams, all in the course of the 2 years. Most wanted to wait and see approach to his development, but never held on to him long enough to even try. Number 9. Jamarcus Russell could never get a second chance. Jamarcus Russell's time in Oakland was a mess, and it's something the Raiders and their fan base are still trying to forget. What's most telling about Russell's career though is that he never managed to latch on with another team. Most busts find at least one other home after things don't work out the first time, but not Russell. The fact that he couldn't manage to earn a contract shows you just how poorly people around the league thought of him. Number 8. Ryan Leaf – Temper Ryan Leaf's stint in the NFL is probably best embodied by a short temper. Leaf had an infamous encounter with the San Diego Union Tribune reporter Jay Posner in the Chargers locker room following a loss to the Chiefs. The Leaf played poorly in that game. While his frustration was understandable at the time, he showed in that moment he wasn't capable of being a franchise player. Number 7. Jamarcus Russell Had more talent around him. Though not by much, Russell certainly gained more weapons throughout his stint with the Raiders than Leaf ever did in San Diego. Jerry Porter, Darren McFadden, Javon Walker, Michael Bush, and Darius Hayward Bay were all on the roster at some point during Russell's tenure. Though it's not a Hall of Fame cast, most of those guys had respectable careers. The fact that Russell couldn't make it work with either of them is telling. Number 6. Ryan Leaf Never threw more touchdowns than interceptions Rookie seasons are typically rough for quarterbacks. It's a learning curve filled with mistakes, and the biggest mistake a quarterback can do is turn the ball over. Leaf did that a lot in 1998, throwing 15 interceptions to only 2 touchdowns. That's a pretty sad number, and things just never got better for Leaf. He would never go on to throw more touchdowns and interceptions in his career. Just a quick look at his stats show you that he wasn't prepared to see the field. Number 5. Jamarcus Russell The NFL game was too fast for him. It's a phrase that gets thrown out by a lot for certain players. In Jamarcus Russell's case, it was all but true. Quarterbacks have to process what's going on around them quickly. They have to move from read to read, anticipate pressure and make adjustments before the snap if need be. Russell never showed that he could do that consistently. Number 4. Ryan Leaf Retired while he still had a chance Though his last team in the NFL was technically the Cowboys, Ryan Leaf actually signed with the Seahawks in 2002. Seattle wanted to develop Leaf, but they never got the chance. At 26 and just 5 days after signing with the team, Leaf retired from the NFL. Number 3. Jamarcus Russell – Bad Work Ethic At this point, everyone knows just how bad Russell's work ethic was while he was with the Raiders. A lot of us can attribute their failures from failing to put in the proper effort, but Russell was something else. One of the most infamous stories proving that this was when Raiders staff gave Russell a blank DVD, told him it was full of plays, and asked him to look it over. Russell claimed to have watched the DVD, at which point the coaches knew everything they needed to know about their quarterback. Number 2. Ryan Leaf The Chargers were better without him. Ryan Leaf missed his sophomore campaign with a season-ending injury. For most teams, losing your young quarterback is an utter disaster. That usually means that the season is over, but not that time. San Diego posted an 8-8 record without Leaf and nearly made the playoffs. If that says anything, it's that Leaf was the one holding them back. Number 1. Jamarcus Russell was out of the league faster. After his release from the Raiders, no one really heard much about Jamarcus Russell. There were reports of him trying out for various teams every so often, but for whatever reason, Russell just couldn't make it back into the league. Like Leaf, he also suffered with personal issues, so that certainly contributed. But the fact that not one team took a chance on him and brought him in as a third string quarterback does sure say a lot. Who do you think was the worst draft bust of all time? Let us know in the comments section below. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.